Whenever I fill my freezer, I like to do a mix of ready-made meals and components that I can sprinkle across different meals. Enter my all-purpose Tex-Mex veggies. I'm gonna make a huge batch, and after a while, I'll talk you through all the things I like to use them for. I've been prepping lots of veggies. This is a big batch. I just shaved the kernels off of five cobs of corn, and I'm gonna mix this all together in a pile. In addition to the corn, I have a whole bunch of diced red onion, and then three colors of bell pepper, orange, red, and green. This color combination is gorgeous. Now I have to throw a little heat in there, so I've got some fresh jalapenos. Rather than put all these in a bowl to mix them, I'm just doing them right on the board. Playing with food is fun. Okay, I'll let that sit, and I'm gonna make the spice mixture for the veggies. It's super simple, just a couple of teaspoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, a healthy pinch of crushed red pepper, more heat for you there, and a good teaspoon of salt and pepper. And then I'll mix these together, and I'm gonna use my other hand to crank up the heat under this skillet. I have just a little bit of olive oil in the skillet, and I'm gonna get half of these veggies in. I'm cooking them in batches because I wanna get them nice and brown, and if I crowd the pan too much, I won't have a hope of any brown happening. Okay, one more little handful. And then I'll sprinkle over some of the seasoning mix, probably about half if I play my cards right. And I'm gonna stir these around and cook the first batch, and then I'll hurry through the next steps. I'll saute the veggies for about five minutes, put them in a bowl, and get the second half of the veggies in the skillet. I'll sprinkle them with the rest of the seasoning mix, stir it all in, and cook the veggies for five more minutes. Next, I'll put the first half of the veggies back in the skillet, add two 15-ounce cans of drained and rinsed black beans, along with four four-ounce cans of diced green chilies. Stir everything together and cook the veggies for another three minutes, then let it cool. The veggies are all cooked and cooled, so I'm just getting them into little containers for the freezer. When you're ready to use these, you just throw them into a skillet from their frozen state and cook them until they're hot. Now it's totally up to you how you use these. Let me give you a few of my ideas. First, in soft tacos, take a tortilla, some chicken, shredded iceberg, cheddar, the veggies, and that is ready. They're also awesome in a taco salad. It's lettuce, the veggies, cotija cheese, salsa, sour cream, and cilantro leaves. Yum. And they are divine in quick quesadillas. Take a skillet with melted butter, add a tortilla, some Monterey Jack, veggies, another tortilla, flip it over, and that's one amazing cheesy quesadilla. Great cut up into quarters. Mine is gonna have pico, guac, and cilantro. Just perfect. I told you these were versatile vegetables. They're gonna star in so many great meals. 